I could not be here breathing and be comfortable if I was really as bad as they was making me. You know, nobody could be around me. So for me to be this calm, I must have some kind of inner peace. And my inner peace is knowing that once everybody takes the time to really see what type of person I am, you'd be surprised that I stuck around this long. I have to make the life that I do live as happy as I can and try to do the best with what I have. Do, you know, live the best life I can live, be as happy as I can be. N nothing is perfect for anybody. I don't know. Boys, I swear, I think I figured it out. You know why they don't want us redneck brothers and sisters and the hood brothers and sisters getting along? You know why? Because we'd be unstoppable. I'm telling you right now, we would shut shit down. Let's continue into Georgia just to highlight because I didn't forget about Fulton County just because we haven't been talking about Miss Fannie Mae and all her shenanigans. We're going to talk about what's that's happening in that jail. And I want you to remember now this young lady, I don't remember talking about her, but Fulton County Jail is still a serial killer. Okay. While we got Fannie Mae going there with going after the alleged future president or candidate or whatever when she got all this stuff going on in her jail she should be ashamed let's listen east 28 deaths at fulton county this is noni she was only 19 years old when she passed and it stated that she died from a toxic mixture of medicines used to treat schizophrenia and bipolar disorder she was in jail for trespassing at a high school that she once attended this is monte and he was 40 years old when at least so this particular story about this young lady, did you hear the charges? And this is what upset me about Fulton County and a lot of these counties out here in Georgia. It's literally a good old boy system. She trespassed. She was in jail for over three days. They gave her a deadly mixture of whatever, antipsychotic medications, and she passed away. This was a little girl. I hear this all the time, and it's not just in Fulton County. I hear this about Jersey jails as well, where literally inmates stay high, like high, okay, off of these antipsychotic medications that doctors and nurses in there are giving them, and they are um, contortionating their bodies. They're doped up on lives and TikTok showing yeah, showing us what's going on in the jail. jail. Drugs is being sneaked in there on top of that. But specifically, Fulton County, we got to keep our eye on what's going on there and don't be distracted because there are inmates dying. That little girl was trespassing. And that's what I was saying. You could drive wrong. I keep saying it. You could drive wrong, end up in Fulton County Jail. You could get locked up for disorderly conduct, end up in, uh, in Fulton County Jail and, and not see a judge and be held at in restraints and crazy stuff. Today, I was watching the YSL trial, listening to the alleged leader, one of the leaders, and, he, and they were just trying to depict how the Fulton County Jail is terrible. And it was funny, I was while we when I was showing you a video a couple of months ago, I was like, is that a shower? And I kept saying to myself, is that a shower? Is because that can't be a shower because that's the general area. The gentleman today in the YSL trial, a basically um the way he explained the shower area was in the general rec room. It was two showers for upstairs and downstairs, and it was in the general rec room with the uh, with the shower curtain that covered it. And to be backed up. Okay, that's disgusting. Okay, listen, we're going to get into Fulton County and the dangers of being locked up out here in Georgia. Please, guys, this is not a joke. That's why I watched this by yourself trial. Not only is just like, oh, it's not about rap, it's literally about them using this Rico charge. This Rico charge, before we get into our next traumatizing story, because this is a little traumatizing, guys. Demons are out there. Um, before we get into that, but um, ah, just just cross just totally just jumped out of my mind when I said demons was out there looking at this young lady, looking at this young lady face that's coming up next. But anyway, we're going to get into Fulton County a little bit more. Some of the horrific things that has been going on there, going deep into details and probably give you an update on what's going on with our famous Fannie Mae as well as other young 
black elite government officials gone rogue it's been so many so many and it's ridiculous and it's a little bit embarrassing okay because a couple of years ago just before the covid i don't know what went on that's when you know it's in times that's what they said when they put a bunch of black people in in in, in y'all don't like gonna like this shit, but i'm gonna keep it real that's what they said when you you put a bunch of black people on the top that means the system about to collapse and we're gonna be the fall persons I know y'all ain't like that shit, but I promise you. I said, damn, that's a lot of black women they hiring to go be a judge, be this, be that. Now, I love it. We do what we do. But you need to go in there with a good moral compass, okay? And know that if you're compromised the way that the owners are compromised, the others, you're going to be the one that's exposed, okay? Just know that. So we're going to do a special on these government officials like um tiffany henyer the other judge that update that killed her boyfriend that's on bail that went out partying it's so much i mean just ridiculous okay so this one is going to be a little serious story guys before we get into teachers gone rogue okay i want you to be careful because as i mentioned when we, when i'm when i'm hinting to that people are demonically possessed yeah right hey, she's talking about demonic possession it's not a joke people are not able to hold their self they're not able to hold their feelings anymore it's like whatever i feel i want to do in these next two stories you're going to see this this man ordered this young woman that he they met on a date okay now it is a caucasian man and a black woman i'm not even going to talk from a color perspective i can but what i am going to talk about from a demented perspective because of what he did and he's not the only one and it's it's across color lines right now hold on i think my mouth is a little dry i need my other lip off i'm paying a lot of me anyway it's across color lines and I really want my audience to be prepared for what we need to be prepared for. And that's literally good versus evil. You need to pick your side. You need to pick your side. You're going to love or you're going to hate, but you're going to be judged. Now, The real estate market often seems like a distant world where only an elite of experts is successful. In a time of so much uncertainty in the air and bad news, realist investing can seem intimidating. But today, I want to tell you that if you make the right decision today, you can enter the real estate market from the back door. Bad credit record? No credit at all. Do you dread the idea of having a home loan? Do you dream of owning investment properties? You are in the right place and right time because we have created a program which is a tax lien and deed investment online course of only 14 hours. This course is specially designed for people like you who have big dreams. You will learn at your own pace and everything from your home computer. This is your chance. Join our membership for $19.99 a year. What are you waiting for? Visit our website primetimehomebuyerbuyback.org and sign up today for course access.